for many Canadians, Labor Day means a little more this year. After the so-called summer of strikes, parades across the country had workers marching with added resolve. The, the cost of everything has gone up uh, and workers are left behind. From BC port workers to Manitoba Liquor Mart staff, the summer saw union members at multiple workplaces walk off the job, then reach new deals. I think the message is that if the government and employers want labor stability, they need to make sure that they give workers what they deserve. Now, Ontario auto workers are among those who've approved new strike mandates, raising the prospect of heated talks through the fall. I think people are going to strengthen because they're going to see the corporate elite eroding away what we have. With inflation pushing up the cost of living and wages often not keeping pace, experts wonder whether a drive to unionize is coming to more unlikely places. Consider Toronto area Metro grocery stores, set to reopen Tuesday after a month long closure. Workers claimed a rare win for private sector lower wage earners when their strike drove the company to offer better pay. Can that translate into a wave of, say, union organizing that's successful? It's possible. Periods of high inflation bring about more labor unrest. It doesn't always go smoothly. Unionized commercial actors have been effectively locked out for a year and a half, while after months of failed bargaining, workers at Ontario Public Broadcaster TVO have walked off the job too. They're members of the Canadian Media Guild, which also represents some CBC staff. Where strikes are concerned, you can never uh, think that the solution is going to know when the solution is going to arrive. For some, the gamble paid off, emboldening unions to consider more action and push for greater demands. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.